welcome to Two Cooks in the Kitchen. Uh, we're gonna make a smoky four pepper salsa. So what we've got here is approximately eight medium sized tomatoes. You can tell I've got uh, a variety of sizes going here because they were from our greenhouse. Uh, four poblanos, four Anaheim chilies, one jalapeno, and four serranos, also from the greenhouse. The lime will also be an ingredient, but I'm gonna take everything else, tomatoes and included, and I'm gonna put them on the barbecue and get them charred. And then we'll peel all the peppers and, uh, well, we will not peel the jalapeno or the serranos. We'll peel these eight, uh, and get the seeds out of them, and uh, we'll put all this in a food processor and voila, we'll have salsa. All right, so our ingredients are all roasting here on the uh, barbecue. You can see the, the jalapeno and the serranos are getting done already. Everything else taking a little bit longer. The tomatoes I expect to take about 15 minutes and that's about what the peppers seem to take. And we want to see that blackened outside on these things. So this is coming along pretty good here. You can see these tomatoes are splitting as they uh, Cook. Look how easy that's going to be to peel, and that's really uh, getting some flavor. But we're also making these so we can peel them. Um, I got to get these off of here because they're looking pretty good. Move them over to a cooler spot. Okay. Yeah, it's coming along. These Anaheim's can be a little tricky. They can be hard to peel even after they're blackened but, uh, all will be well this will be a delicious salsa all right so all of our ingredients have been uh, prepared for this and we're just going to stick it in the food processor and grind it up to the desired consistency you can leave it a little chunky or you can make it smooth it's up to you I'm not sure, I'm not convinced that all of this is going to fit in here at one time, so I'm going to do about half of everything and, uh, and uh, do, do it in two passes, and then we'll mix it together in a bowl. So I'm going to take three of my chilies, um, to, let's see, no, I'm not, I'm going to take two of my Anaheims and two of my Poblanos, about half of my tomatoes, now these I peeled and uh, took the stems off and then I squeezed them to squeeze out some of the seeds. I didn't try and take all the seeds out, but I just didn't want a lot of extra moisture. And as you can see, there's still quite a bit of water that I can avoid putting in here. So then we also have a quarter of an onion and two cloves of garlic. So let's see if I can get about half of that in here. We'll mix it all together, both batches anyway, but, um, and then uh, some cilantro. That's kind of up to you how much cilantro you like. Here's our uh, jalapeno and uh, serranos chopped up. And two teaspoons of salt. And one lime, and we're just gonna juice it. So. We'll juice half of it now, half of it later. See, it actually looks like it might have all fit, but I think this is the uh, better way to go here. So ordinarily, <clears throat> during normal times, we'd be having dinner parties now and we'd be able to sit out a bowl of chips and a couple of different kinds of salsa. Uh, we're gonna end up freezing some of this. I probably should have just made half of it because we can't have any company. So that looks like salsa, doesn't it? And we'll repeat the process with the other half. Four chilies, the rest of my tomatoes, cilantro, my 
on onion and garlic. The salt and serrano and jalapeno. Oh, and your lime. And my lime. Don't want to forget that. So it adds all the brightness. Here we go. I think that's about it. I like to have a little bit of chunkiness in here. See if we can get it all. No sense wasting things. Okay. And now, okay, so now we gotta, let's see what we made here. Mm. Okay. Is it hot? It's, it's hot. It's, you would consider it quite hot. I think it's just nicely hot. Um, it does have a bit of a smoky flavor. Uh, the recipe calls for adding some liquid smoke and I totally didn't do that. That would even smoky it up a little more, but it's really good. It tastes like it's, uh, tastes mostly like the chilies, which is kind of the goal, I think. Um, yeah, it's, it's really delicious. So thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen and we'll see you next time.